Oh, hi, everybody. As you can see, we're in a webcam vlog format, which I haven't done in a while, but it's actually kind of cool to do this again, you know, to not to rely on stuff that I've bought, the little gadgets to do hippie spot. So, it's, even though it's like an old camera, it's still one of the, my new babies, and it's uh, my main vlogging tool. But um, today, I wanted to do a sit down vlog, you know, uh, in the empty room, put the camera on the tripod, but I forgot to charge the battery, and I've been leaving it off for like the whole day. And before you know it, it's already nighttime, ready to finish meal five, and I just recently finished meal six. So, yeah, I'm sitting in front of the camera, the webcam, mm hmm. And as you can see, I'm using the old, uh, one of the old uh, icons because it's supposed to be the purple one. And I'm too lazy to switch in the purple one, so I'm sticking with the blue one just to show you. Yeah, you know, I haven't changed my setup in a long time. Not me. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know what. Anyways, I'll go back to um, using the camera because I really need to get back in the habit of charging this because um, battery, like, eats up too quick. So, and it's just, it's a really small battery. So, let's not get into that. Uh, anyways, so before I want to get in today, I just want to talk about that. Uh, talk about um, last week's um, regimen or workouts. Um, even though there's really nothing to talk about, but there's something I came out of it uh, that I understood. Uh, since I'm recording this Sunday, recording this Sunday, so I'm saying last week, so whatever time frames, uh, statistics. Blah, blah, blah. So last week, nothing really much to talk about. Maybe like a couple volume PRs, maybe like by a rep, maybe five pounds. But what I did understand for last week is my strength levels. So. Um, like my strength is really is pretty damn good at this point, you know, being around 145, 146. And so what I want to do from here on out is to actually incorporate like a type of periodization scheme for the power days. And so I am going to go forward with that. Ooh, excuse me. I am going to go forward with that 531 when or that when they're 531 type of scheme for the power days, even though it's not exactly 531 or even um big but boring 531. Um, I do want to just borrow some of the stuff out of it, see if I can incorporate it into my training, while still being able to utilize, you know, working body parts twice a week, and you know, still keeping the scheme that I have it. You know, I'm still running off how fat power hypertrophy adapted training is. It's just, you know, I still want to keep that frequency, and just the the planning out of, you know, I have half a week where I'm working on strength, and then half a week I'm working on hypertrophy. I want to keep that. Um, but I, I still want to incorporate like some cool things that I've always wanted to try, but I just don't want to sacrifice um, the time and effort to switch up my routine for it at this point. Because I feel right now with my training routine, I'm doing pretty good. Like I don't want to change anything up. I just want to um, solidify some ideas and the philosophies that you know go into my training. I just want to make that a lot more unified. Mm, yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for next week. So not necessarily this week, but next week uh, I'm going to try it out. So, um, let's get into the topic of this sit down vlog for today. Um, so what I wanted to do today, I was I wanted to reflect on the me of last year uh, to compare it to me this year, because around this time last year, um, I decided to start my contest prep for 2014, my road to the Washington State Natural in April of this year. And that was, when I started was November 17th, 2014, 2014, November 17th, 2013 is when I started my contest prep for this year. I started 22 weeks out um, uh, on my road to the April show and I started at a weight of 162, 162. Now, also to kind of go backwards a little bit, I uh, I did the the Natural Columbia Classic in 2013, and I stepped on stage on that show at 131. So roughly the same weight that I stepped on this year, stepped on the same weight I stepped on on stage last year as well. And but the conditioning is definitely a lot more different. You know, if um if I ever showed the pictures, my conditioning is definitely different from 2013 compared to 2014. Um, let's see. And so, from there, um, once the show was done, I, I decided that in July of 2013, I wanted to maintain my weight because I've never gone through a weight loss and kept the weight. You know, when I did my weight loss in 2008, 2009, you know, I went from 230 down to 150 by New Year's 2009, and then um, half a year, I think up until like 
May or June of 2009, I hit a wall. I couldn't get past 140, and it was it was a wall where I didn't know what to do. I absolutely didn't know what to do because I lost the weight purely just by willpower and frequency. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's how a lot of people will go through a weight loss if they're really determined. Is that they'll just exercise and exercise and exercise. You know, they don't really think about um, diets or proper regimen. They just work out, maybe eat a little bit less, and try to think healthy as far as like food choices. That was me. You know, man, literally like six years ago, six five years ago. Whew, kind of tough to think about. And you know, that was me. I, I had no knowledge about nutrition, no knowledge about proper programming. And so once I hit that 140 mark, I was like, I'm just going to bulk. No, forget it. I'm going to just try to gain muscle. And there was like a lot of years of limbo, like 2010, two, rest of 2009, 2010, 2011, and half of 2012 was pretty much me in limbo because I didn't really know, you know, what I was doing. And I was just getting fat again because I was eating junk food. I was going to fast food and stuff. So... And then, you know, and then, you know, some like spring of 2012, that's where the thoughts about bodybuilding um, started to manifest because I was really thinking, I want to see where my physique is if I drop the body fat. Problem is, I didn't know how to do it. And then, you know, obviously the vlog started, and then my whole journey for my first show began in 2012, or late 2000, or yeah, late 2012, going into 2013. Natural Cascade Classics. And then the rest was history from there. But um, after 2013, I went to my off season. So July, uh, maintained my weight. But August, starting August of that year, 2013, I just I started my off season. Like I actually started off season training. So August, September, October, and then half of, is that a half? <laughs> half of November. I had three and a half months of off season training before I started, um, before I decided to start my contest prep for 2014 and like I said I started at um, 135 after July and then I ballooned up to 162 so in three and a half months you know I gained trying to do the math <laughs> you gain trying to do the math um, 20 27 27 pounds 27 pounds in three and a half months now let's compare that to the Ray right now. So the me right now, so same situation. Uh, end of June, Natural Cascade Classics. No, not kind of Cascade Classics. Natural Columbia Classics, late June. And so starting July, rather than maintaining my weight, I, um, rather than maintaining my weight, I reverse dieted for, I think, five weeks. So I went from 131. So yeah, I started at 130, 131. And then four or five weeks, I slowly got my maintenance calories or my calories back up to maintenance and then from there started slowly adding on more calories until I got into my bulk uh, until I got into my bulk phase I should say and that's when um, year three vlog started was when um, I want to say the peak of my bulk started but that's when I was um, was a couple numbers over a couple hundred over um, my maintenance so that's where everything started being and plus when I bought my camera <laughs> um, but um, but here, you know, the maintenance or the, the calorie bulk didn't really start until, yeah, like August, like later August, you know, so maybe like mid August or something. Like that's when like I actually started to dive above a little bit over um, maintenance maintenance calories for my body weight. And so, keeping that in mind, so keeping that yeah, keeping that in mind, I went from 131 in June, late June this year. And to right now, I'm only 146 out as of this morning. So I really only gained 15 pounds over the course of four and a half months. Ooh. So what's the big difference here? The big difference here is that I actually learned how to diet. <laughs> I think this is kind of a good thing to um, be with uh, a cool community of people, you know, with uh, this bodybuilding community here in uh, the state of Washington. Uh, up here in the Pacific Northwest that um, you get to meet some cool people and you get to learn a lot of things uh, from other people and get an idea how they do the training you know some people like to lift heavy all the time some people do the um, body parts twice a week frequency some people do low lower volume some people do higher volume and 
diet wise, you know, you learn that, you know, people's approaches to dieting is different. You know, even though there are some good base guidelines, like how I learned in 2000, um, 2013, you know, I started to be more um, real about myself when it comes to like my own expectations and how I want to eventually grow. And I need to grow, bro. You know, these right here, these are like still like teenager range, like teenager range. So, <laughs> so you know, I'm, I started to learn a lot more about myself, you know, as far as like how carbs affect me or, and, um, how, how much like fat I should eat and how that works out and just being able to balance dietary fats, like how much I need to be able to be well, I guess, and, you know, stay within a good healthy range compared to 2013 Ray uh, in his off season or my off season, I don't know why I'm being a part of this, in my off season where I had an idea, but it was just on a whim, you know, it was just, I track certain things and then there's just most of the times I didn't really track it. All I knew is I had to gain weight and let's not do cardio. I think that was the big mistake is that I didn't do cardio while doing all this um, dirty bulking back in 2013. But now, you know, I'm still not doing cardio, but I'm, I'm very strict about um, the daily diets. And that's why I, I tell a lot of people that even though I'm in a bulk phase and it's a little bit easier to cope with. I'm still pretty strict about myself, so I'm still treating it as a contest prep, pretty much, because I think I just need to be in that type of mentality in order to improve right now at this moment. You know, especially being a smaller guy where I need to eat, but at the same time, um, being that I used to be fat, I'm scared of getting fat if I eat too much. So that's why I'm really strict about um my intake uh at this time and the how many more weeks that I got to go with this off season and I'm st I'm still scared like even at very close to 3000 calories like I think I'm around um like 28 2900 calories at this moment um and I I'm just saying the calories like I'm not talking about the macros even though I'm a I I F Y M type of guy um the calories total out to 28 2900 and you know I'm I'm afraid to eat more because I would just get fat, and I try to balance that with um, just trying to make sure I maintain my intensity levels in the gym and keep the intensity up. And this is way different than um, this is way different than me before, where um, I was never really thinking about like progression. I was never really thinking about you know doing you know like the slow progression or um, how much weight I should be doing with this certain rep range. I was just in that mindset to um, hit a weight for this many sets for this amount of reps. You know, I'm compared to me right now where it's like I want to hit as many sets as I can and see if I can do a lot of reps out of it. You know? So like definitely I'm I'm seeing myself evolve as I kind of look back at the vlogs. And I don't know about you if, if you see other people do vlogs, but I know for myself, if I watch myself my vlogs, it's um, it's very cringeworthy, you know. So it's um, it's weird. But I I see a lot of myself, you know, still around, you know, to this day. Um, but there are a lot of things about my old self that I wish that I still had to this day. Particularly the strength. Particularly the strength. This is why I want to um see if I can maintain my strength once I start my cut. But anyways, um. I know this is probably like the first video of many videos where I'm going to kind of reflect back on things. And I'm probably going to do um, something similar, you know, once I'm maybe like in January or something where I'm really deep into prep and I'm getting close to the show. I'll probably do another video of that. But yeah, it's it's cool to see. It's cool to, you know, like reflect on like your transformation, you know. That's why I love to do these vlogs rather than have pictures is that, you know, I physically talk into the camera. And there are my thoughts for that day, even if it's like intangible jabber, <laughs> you know. But it, it's cool to to kind of look back on things, and I'm I'm glad I'm doing these vlogs. Like I would love to do these forever, even though nobody really watches the vlogs. So I don't really care, you know. It's, uh, but it's something for me to to have where it's not on my hard drive. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So one thing to take out of this is that. 
you're always going to be changing. You're always going to be learning. I'm always changing. I'm always learning. I'm always readjusting. And uh, for me, it's um, for me. I just need um, a lot more discipline. And this is this is going to be the time where I got to be really disciplined because it's going to be a long it's going to be a long time until uh, I start prep again. And it, it is irritating just just for me. It's irritating, and I'm a little bit jealous that. Um, friends have been starting their contest prep um, for 2015 while I'm still in the gym even though I'm lifting heavy getting stronger I want to prep I want to pose I want to do my individual 60 second routine I have my routine ready I just need to practice it and I just need the body for it you know, body for it but um that's gonna have to wait because I still have more training time to do and being a small guy I need as much much time to grow as possible because if I started prep right now for 2015 I would probably be maybe just a pound more a pound or two more going into the show and that's not going to make a difference um, you know to so I want to have those you know those extra months to to bulk up to see if I could grow out of it rather than to cut down so I'd rather utilize that time you know I'm still I'm still fairly young I'm still a fairly young guy compared to a lot of my other friends that are competing you know in these natural federations you know I still have I still have a good amount of time so I want to make every second every day every hour every day every year every week every millisecond every no let's stop this I want to make every piece of time count for me so um so that's kind of like the short I want to say short vlog but that was kind of like uh, my reflection video for today so see more of these types of videos soon where I draw parallels to a uh, year two vlog and yeah stay tuned but this time, I'll be back to the camera, and I'll remember to recharge the battery. So, bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts. And a little bit of Coke syrup. With my sippy straw. Mm-mm.